Hey there everyone, this is Robin back from the grave after being struck was it struck by a terrible gastroenteritis disease. Yeah, got the tummy bug and the, got the terrible night and the average day after that, but I will find now and it's time to play some more. Ta-da! Kirby's Adventure without my, my mouse. My mouse, my mouse, not my mouse. Yes, so let's just remember the controls again. I have to do that every time and let's move on. We're almost at the end of the game. I'm a great ace and we're in Rainbow Resort. So that's jump and that's inhale. Great. Let's go! Level 1, no, stage 1, whatever, and this is all about bouncing lasers! Yeah, destroy all thy enemies, Kirby, for thou art the greatest destroyer of our lives and earths and universes, and a getter of extra lives. That's really, that's a free life in the most general sense of free, seriously. And all of a sudden, laser sucks. So let's just do that. I'll get fire. I have an inkling that I'm going to need fire in the future, actually. No, there might be some cannon I want to in to uh, turn on. Ignite. Ignite is the correct term. And uh, let's get that fire. Let's get that fire. I think Kirby can break blocks by jumping. He can't in this game. Oh. Can in the more recent ones, like Kirby Superstar. That's that's a seriously recent game, isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah, it sure is. And I'm going to keep my fire just in case, just in case. Sliding's actually better <laughs> than fire, so uh, uh, what? Oh, phew. Sliding is the best. Except against this guy. Except against this guy. However, against these guys, fire, yes, that was extremely useful. Ah, oh, it's actually a hammer I need. I remember that. I remember that. You need a hammer to break those blocks, basically. So, whoa! The stone wouldn't work, obviously, but let's get stone anyway. I like stone. And that's, that is actually a hole. That is actually a hole. So let's just fly, float over everything and uh, endure the lag and give up our stone because it's not really useful and almost die but that's kind of standard and end the stage. Push A, I just did and yeah, number one, great. The part where he falls over probably hurts a bit. Well, I say that. I say that, I'm not that sure. Let's use the Warp Star! You probably know why I want to use the Warp Star. It's because I want to go back to level 5 to get the hammer. And man, you get that. You get that. Every time you enter a new room, it's distressing. It's distressing. Yeah, it is annoying. Let's see if I can beat the hammer guy without getting hit a single time. Let's see. I'm doing pretty well right now. That doesn't work, but this will. Ta-da! Kirby is the winner. A winner is Kirby. Winner Kirby is a... A Kirby is winner. Yeah. And let's not use the warp star on this is the way back because you know when I do random trips or walks or whatever I like to avoid taking the same path uh, basically doing a go and back I prefer doing some kind of loop and uh, which is why I avoided the warp star this time and the challenge here is going to be keeping my hammer with all those enemies and this Sir Kibble guy is annoying I'm just going to float I guess Floating is Kirby's best asset. People keep forgetting that. It's true. And I can even get this extra life again. 
don't really need the laser for that actually. Anything which allows you to attack higher than you are is good enough. So let's just slide. Oh, and sliding animation changes when Kirby has the hammer. How awesome is that? How awesome is that? Not very awesome. All right. oh. I'll concede that point. I'll concede that point. Yeah. Got the guy. Got the guy. Will I get him this time? No. Yes, I do. Wow. Sometimes my greatness surprises even me. And... Oh, don't tell me. Don't tell me. Ah. No, I was supposed to leave one of those blocks. Can I get... Oh. <laughs> this game. This game. <laughs> it knows... How to make you work for your secret switches. It knows how to make you work for your secret switches. I'm pretty sure I was supposed to keep one, not break one of those blocks so that I could stand on it and the life isn't here anymore. So what, is clearing the stage the requirement for making a life come back? Oh, well, that's actually reasonable. That's reasonable. Get away from the fire guy, phew. Fireball. Yeah, not very hard actually. Even though he's going to respawn right now. Let's get him in advance this time. Bam! What? Is this Mega Man or what? Enemies respawn so fast. All right. Let's do this properly. And it's even slippery. Something like that. What? 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 No! This... These blocks are not breakable. What's going on here? What? Aha! Aha! I found something! It was all a trick. A vile trick from the people at Howl Labs. And I, I did get tricked, actually. <laughs> Wow. Wow, wow, wow. And it's all for the crane game. It's all for the crane game. But I did what I wanted to do, which is all that matters. Let's go on. It's a tower. It's a tower level. Oh, yeah. I think it's the boss rush kind of level. So, but as I'm used to, let's do the boss rush like a man. I'm pretty sure that... It's quite a classic in Kirby games to have some kind of min actually mini boss rush. Let's be correct in our language, use the correct terms, and let's not get any powers. Let's not get any powers. And yeah, it's and the door here is actually accessible. What? Seriously? <laughs> Well, apparently the game is serious so that I don't need to find the mic guy. Oh well, sucks to be him I guess. He'll be imprisoned in this tower for forever and ever because he can't get inside any doors. He can't get inside any doors, the mic guy. And uh, oh, Ed, Ed Hammer guy again. So that's the second time I fight you get in this video. Well, Hammer guy is probably the guy I fought the most out of all the, out of all the game. Except, except for Waddle Dee. I fought Waddle Dee quite a few times. Quite a few. Can't really remember, but... Like, Waddle Dee, he, he, he can change his body to look like several different enemies, so you don't always know when you're actually fighting Waddle Dee or not. It's kind of confusing at times. And this guy, he's the guy who spawns bee-like things, right? Why do all the... Oh. Why do so many bosses in this game just kind of jump in place and get angry? Oh no, he spawns mini versions of himself. It's like that. Why do all the bosses do that? They don't look that angry. Seriously, they don't look that angry. And uh, one more hit should do it. One more hit should do it. Whoop! You surprised me there, guy, but I still avoided you. And you know, if, if there's no healing in this stage, it might actually not be that easy to clear at the end. So we'll see. Bugsy! Yo, Bugsy! He's actually basically the exact same as the other guy, except that he goes a bit less fast in his actual attacking attack. That, oh, and he actually jumps in my direction. 
the, the, all those mini bosses, maybe they're a bit too similar, all of them. They're all a bit too similar, and it's quite nice that the star pierces the little bugsy. Yeah. Phew, I have good reflexes. Bam! I win again. How many are there? There's the fire lion. Fireball lion, to be more precise. Yep! Yep, it was indeed the fireball lion. Oh, this guy makes a star by jumping. He's like DDD, basically. Or Waddle Dee. DDD, Waddle Dee, or even kind of like the hammer guy. Well, we say that, but. No, DDD's attack, which does, does this effect, is actually the hammer attack, so uh, it all makes sense, I guess. It just kind of comes full circle, basically. I'm the master of all the mini bosses. And that's it! And that's it. So that's this warp star. And what happens if I fall down? What? It's a hole. It's a pitfall. It's an infinite hole. So fly, fly, dear Kirby, please. Why did the warp star need to go down a little bit? I'm not sure. Man, this place. That's... This place looks very Kirby Dreamland 3-like. It's... it's it's pretty sudden, like pastel style drawings and stuff. Oh, and there's an M tomato at the end. This place looks really nice. Wow. And I love those uh, hills with a square grid in them. It looks, it looks cool. I'll say it. It looks cool. Also, you can grind infinite points by making this guy respawn. In case you're interested in that kind of stuff. I hope you're not, because it's kind of weird to grind for points in this game. Uh, you only get 5,000 points for clearing that. When just inhaling the sword guy gives you eight, uh, 500. Wow, it's strange. Whatever, Rainbow Resort. Sleep guys. I think if you touch a sleep guy, you fall asleep. No, you don't. I'm getting confused with another game then. Probably Kirby Superstar again. Just don't want to... Oh, I do get mixed with two sleep guys. Laser. Yeah, laser is so awesome, I got rid of it. That, ah, that, I thought it was part of the background. Ah, stupid me. Wow, this place doesn't look very convenient to play in. Guess that's the point. Yeah, doesn't look convenient at all. Those Bronto birds, they sure like to annoy me. And this guy also. Oh, but there's a tomato. So it's all for naught. It's all for naught. Or more like, I didn't die and I was rewarded for that, I guess. Hey, Meta Knight, you've decided to be my friend in the end, right? 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 I hope you did. I can't go fast in this place. Ah! I just can't go fast in this place at all, because you've got all those slopes. But I guess I still went fast enough to get to this door. So, uh, yes. Excellent. Excellent. That reminds me of Diddy Kong racing bosses all of a sudden. They say excellent a lot. And I hope there isn't a door hidden in those uh, waterfalls. It's the hunch I'm getting right now. Let's see if I have actually cleared the stage or not. Yes, phew, there's not a door hidden in all that. So we can move on. Oh, this music. We haven't had this music for a while. Have we had it at all? Yeah, we have. We have. It's It was played in the cloud area, I think. And, uh... We're in a very... F oh, tornado. I should have taken the tornado. We haven't seen much of that thing. There's lots of flowers in here. It looks pretty nice. Once again, also Kirby's Dreamland 3-esque, I think. My opinion is... And my opinion might be invalid, but hey, but hey. Well, I'm going to die. I'm going to die if I don't pay more attention. And I almost did. These guys, they just kind of wall jump all of a sudden and it's... This game's controlled. I haven't, don't think I've complained yet, but they're actually not amazing because there's sometimes there seems to be some kind of lag just just here. I pressed uh, B for a second and it didn't actually register. So uh, I'm not sure not sure whether it's lag or just sometimes stuff doesn't respond respond 
respond, not respond. And, uh, <clears throat> and it gets annoying at times. I'll be honest. Look, didn't even see the the the, the attack. <coughs> oh well. And that's the end of that level. That level was disappointing. And I get another free life, yeah. It's so cold today in Paris. And not today, all this week. It's been super cold. My left hand right now is super cold because it's not... It hasn't been on the radiator for a while. Well, my right hand was on the radiator oh, for the first half of all the evening I, when I was playing V V V V V V. Well, 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 ah, almost, almost dodged that. <coughs> that was a good section. That was an interesting section. Oh, we haven't had this guy to fight. We haven't had this guy to fight in the tower. I wonder why he was absent. <laughs> And in this kind of arena, he's a bit more dangerous. He is a bit more... Ah! Don't jump like that. Stop jumping. And they make... You know, the arena sure shakes a lot when these guys uh, mid mid-boss. And bosses also, I think, jump. Maybe not all the bosses. Let's get the... The wheel, I might need it for some kind of switch. I think. Woo! There's... There's wind, which pushes me downwards. I should be climbing way faster than this. So I guess here it's going to push me upwards. Um... I'm so clever. I forgot about that part of the fireball guy. I did forget about that part of the fireball guy. Oh well. Oh well. Whoop! Haha, I got, got you there. And I'm lucky I got hit because otherwise I would have died because, uh, you know, the fireball guy removes control from you when you get hit. And let's get the fire. <clears throat> I have an inkling that I'm going to need the fire. And guess what? I did. But laser might actually be better. I think laser can also ignite uh, those things. What? Ah. What? This is impossible. Let's get fireball then. Can I? Can you even do it multiple times? Apparently you can, because the fuse kind of is there. But yeah, yes, sir. That. W Don't care about extra lives. I 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 do not care about extra lives. I do care about eventual hidden doors though. So let's check for those. Let's check for hidden doors. And apparently there is no hidden door. Oh well, oh well. That was just a bonus few lies which are not going to be extremely useful. Well, that was level 5. And nothing hidden here as well. Um, do I do level 6? Nope, I'll stop here for today. That's 18 minutes, that's more than enough. Thank you for watching everyone, and uh, there weren't many hidden switches, only in the first level. And uh, I know that there's a hidden switch in the last level, and I think it's probably number 6. And uh, <coughs> we'll see that next time! See you then, bye!